19 strain. This process, Professor Rudolf Berswick and Dr. Kobet, who are lead researcher on the COVID-19, they are working in the Department of Epidemiology and Microbiology and also in the Immuni Immunology Department of Science. They are hard working on to develop uh, antibiotic or anti or develop antibodies using reagents and strains of the coronavirus through testings to find a cure um, to find not a cure to find a treatment for the coronavirus COVID nineteen. These are expected to come around sometime about November, December of 2020 before any clinical trials can be made because the possible trials of virus are very expensive and it takes a long time for you to get an antibody that will counteract the virus strands are strain. So these antibodies are now working on to see how well. So tests has to be carried out on animals, like test animals that we use like rats, and sometimes you use like some monk types of monkeys. Other species can be used with test these antibodies so first of all the, the coronavirus COVID-19 strain is placed into these animals these animals are confined to a location they are also tested each time you put in the antibiotic they are also tested again to see the reaction to see the response to see if the virus is actually working or it's not working to see if the virus is actually um, helping the organism so before any vaccination or vaccine can be done all these tests has to be carried out and proven successfully so there are a lot of work the epidemiology units has to be doing in order to contain the spread of the coronavirus and you know that's a rapid test right now because of the the nature of the COVID-19 virus so it's a massive race that these people has to be doing in order to help to minimize or mitigate the virus and order to to suppress the virus to a level where it is not as pandemic as it is now so people has to ensure that they protect themselves by stay at home build their immune system ensure that they get proper rest if they are affected by any means of the virus mean that they become contaminated or infected by the virus they need to isolate themselves both from family members co-workers the wider population stay at home if they are staying at home they have to also stay in one room use one bathroom and no other family member should use that particular room or bathroom should not launder their clothes with the rest of the family members they should also not only stay at home and lie down because they are not feeling well they must get up do their normal exercise in the morning because what we found out that persons who because it's a respiratory illness 
once you lie down the virus tends to progress more if you would take the common cold as an example and see once you have the common cold and you lie down you continuously to get worse worse and worse sorry um if you get up move about then you will find that the virus will not take a toll on the body so exercising is vital for persons who contracted covid 19 go you need to get sufficient sunlight which has vitamin d and also boost your system with more vitamin d drink plenty of water to flush your system ensure that your system is hydrated and ensure that you're trying to stay healthy meaning you're, not, you're going to eat healthy stuff you're going to eat healthy food items that will keep you safe and protected however the virus will not just go away overnight now it will be around for a while even when it is still suppressed by vaccination it will still around but i don't think vaccination will be available outside of clinical trials to the wider public until somewhere in the early spring of 2021 there will be some vaccination available for persons even though the cdc the national institute of health is working assiduously to put out a vaccine their take as dr Kobert said not until spring early spring of 2021 before a, a vaccination our vaccine will be ready for the public to take i heard many people talk about 5g network and how 5g network cause the coronavirus i see it as a myth and we have to stop um speaking loosely a lot of people since the pandemic of coronavirus making various statements about coronavirus viruses are different from radiation radiation operates differently from viruses we know 5g network yes is highly radioactive the first trials of 5g network have proven massive environmental issues where they had to pull down those sites that was used for test trials and to look back at the the the, 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 the radioactivity of the sites and to ensure that these sites are made environmentally safe both for wildlife and for human being so the 5g network as I said, it is a broad bandwidth moving from the 4G level to, to clarify the, the bandwidth, to make the bandwidth a more clear cut um, area or method of communication. In 4G, you know that, notice that there are sometimes persons call your phone is not ringing on your side their side it is ringing because there is a breach within the bandwidth or the transmission mode of of the com method of communication so scientists has found that the bandwidth need to improve in order to get clarity and even picture pictorial quality the megapixels of the the, the transmission of the bandwidth may compromise at the 4G level so we are not able to see some persons clearly we are not able to see some things clearly in, 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 in transmission so the 5G connectivity 
was come about in order to, 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 to um, satisfy that bandwidth and that sort of transmission of information. As you know, the whole world is gone into an information technological age. Everything has to do with technology. Everything has to do with internet speed and bandwidth speed. So 5G network will provide that level of bandwidth speed and that level of internet. But there is a drawback to the 5G network as to the amount of radiation that is coming from these towers. So for the environmentalists, we had to look at the amount of radioactivity that is emitting from these towers. So work has been going on in order to mitigate or minimize the number of radiation coming from these towers. Just like how the 4G network, they had to minimize the number of radiation transmitting from these towers in order to make it more environmentally friendly. So radiation affects individual within close proximity of cell towers that are emitting radioactivity waves. It is not like the coronavirus, which is totally different. Coronavirus are viruses that has different strains and these strains are the MERS, the COVID, and the SARS. These are transmitted zoonotically and also transmitted from humans to human. So if you are not in an area where an infected individual, say for instance, you are traversing in a bus and the bus, you know, in our country, Jamaica, our buses are always filled with people. And, and, not, and an infected individual is in that bus. And once that individual cough within that closed area or sneeze within that closed area, the individual within that bus are likely to come down with the, 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 the pathogen of coronavirus because they are going to inhale droplets. There might, they may as well touch infected areas that these droplets fall. They may be touching their ears, eyes, and nose, mouth. They, so they are transmitting the, the, the virus to their body by touching and not proper hand sanitizing. So the, the movements of viruses are totally different from the movement of radiation. Radiation would affect wider scope of individual within a location. It would not have been transmitted from countries to countries by travel or by becoming contaminated. Because most people who come to Jamaica or how Jamaica receive COVID-19 is through imported cases. So our imported cases was higher than our local transmission. It's just the workplace cluster that has caused our local transmission to skyrocket and to reach a level of, five, of up to 591 now. But before that, we were very low on transmission, local transmission. We were having a higher percentage of imported cases. Even persons who came into the island with the virus, our first death was also imported cases um, of the COVID-19. So people has to practice the necessary precautionary measures in order to minimize and to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus. Stay at home. That is the rule of the National Disaster Risk Management Committee. Stay at home home if you are having communicable diseases 
and you are hypertensive, communicable diseases are like hypertensive, are your, your comorbidities, you have to ensure that you take the highest level of precaution. Person who are hypertension, person who suffer from HIV, asthma, sickle cell, name them. You have to ensure that you boost your immune system, take your medication, stay at home. Persons are over 65 years has to stay at home. Only come out to get food and the necessary item. Stick with your medication and ensure that you keep your medication close by and take them because at this present time there is no treatment for COVID-19 which is a strand of the coronavirus. No treatment are available at this time. The National Institute of Health in Maryland has suggested that the closest possible time for a vaccine to be ready is spring of next year. So we have a far way to go and we, we notice that the country is now opening up back its borders, opening up back some of the, the businesses and the hotels. This is an heightening point of the COVID-19 virus. We are not even sure if we have gone through or completed the first phase of the virus. And with this in mind, the first phase of the virus, everybody locked down and panic at the, the onset of knowing that we have a pandemic and the pandemic is inevitable. We are opening up at a level of 590 cases, 10 deaths. In 1918, we saw that the countries around the world has opened up back after the first phase of the virus, that pandemic. And in that time, we realize that in the second wave or the second phase of the pandemic, we have more deaths than what took place in the first phase. And it is projected that 60% of the world population will be infected with COVID-19. 60%. And the world population stands at 9 billion people. And if 60% of the world population will be affected by COVID-19, you know that a lot of people will come down with the virus. We have seen large population like India, 1.2 billion people having some 20, some 22,000 infected cases. We look at China, 1.8 billion people who had reported millions of debt. Ironically, the information that the WHO has spread about them did not match up to the death toll in China. However, we look at America and see how our death toll is rising. We have over 130,000 deaths already in America. We look at France, Italy, and all those places, high debt tolls. We are in, even in Africa and other places where the death toll is skyrocketing. And the disease is still progressing. That is the thing. The disease is still progressing. And as church people, this is not the end of time. This is not the coming of Christ. This is just 
a foretale of the beginning of sorrow. And we have to prepare ourselves, gird our minds, focus on the word of God. Do not be distracted by the virus. Do not, because of the virus, we lose focus. If you are at home, you are affected by the virus, you lose your job, you are not working at the present time, find some creativity to do. Do some backyard gardening. Do, get some containers from your neighbor. Get some soil. Plant a few little vegetables. Plant a little flowers. Water them. Fertilize them. Spray them. Care them. Nourish them. Make yourself useful. Do not sit down. Burden down your mind. Stress out yourself over a pandemic. Make yourself blessed. Sing spiritual hymns. Give yourself a relief from the stress of a pandemic like coronavirus, COVID-19 strain. God bless you.